applicants must meet certain application and academic requirements and then demonstrate minimal competence. Prospective licensees must demonstrate knowledge of real estate business practices and the knowledge of federal and Florida real estate license law. To prepare for the exam and to competently perform real estate services, licensees must be familiar with the laws that regulate the real estate business. Florida Statute 475. This is on the top of the ones you need to know. This law is often called the Real Estate Professional Practice Act. Chapter 475 was created by the Florida Legislature to establish the legal rights and responsibilities of all real estate licensees and real estate appraisers in the state. Chapter 475 is divided into four parts. Part 1 pertains to real estate brokerage, which is what you need to know. Real estate licensees are responsible for knowing the provisions of this chapter. The FREC implements, interprets, and enforces the regulatory provisions of Chapter 475. Part 2 does not apply to us so much as it does appraisers. So Part 2 of Chapter 475 pertains to real estate appraisers and sets forth the requirements for licensed and certified appraisers according to federal statute. The Florida Real Estate Appraisal Board, or FREAB, regulates state-certified, licensed, and registered trainee appraisers. FREAB functions very similar to FREC. Both have quasi-judicial powers, and they follow the same procedures for disciplining licensees. So FREAB is to appraisers as FREC is to us licensees. Parts 3 of Chapter 475, the Commercial Real Estate Commission Lien Act, gives brokers lien rights for earned commission. This act applies only to commercial, it is not on residential property. The lien is only against the owner's net proceeds, or their personal property from the sale, and it does not attach to the commercial real estate property. Part 4 is pretty much the exact same thing in name except for one word. It's the Commercial Real Estate Leasing Commission Lien Act and it gives the broker lien rights for earned commission associated with a brokerage agreement to lease commercial real estate. I know the last two are probably a little confusing. The main point is just that they protect the broker from the seller going around their back after their agreement ends and buying the property, bypassing the broker, and therefore not having to pay a commission by buying or selling straight to the buyer or seller. Now this lien goes against the sell price on the closing or the money on the table, basically whatever they bought it for, to recoup the loss of commission that would have been given to the broker. So whatever the sell price is that they closed on behind the broker's back, you would just take the broker's commission off of that.